this is a um, a demonstration of a uh, ball turning tool that um, that uh, I built uh, for the Tag uh, lathe. Um, it was designed by a Phil Thomas of Booragoon in Western Australia, and it's uh, described in the Model Engineer Workshop uh, during the months of uh, November and December of '94. Um, uh, at that time, it was it was built for, I believe, a ML7 uh, size lathe, uh, the Myford. And so what I did was I scaled it down half scale uh, from the the article in the in the magazine, and um, I'm now at the stage where I'm uh, doing a um, a first a more or less a first first off operation in turning a ball from a three eight uh, rod. Of stainless steel um, 403 um, and um, I'm I've set it up and I'm just in the process now of of machining the ball um, I like this design or I thought it was quite good when I saw it because it allows the tool to get in close to the chuck um, uh, and so you have less uh, uh, material sticking out from the from the chuck. So um, I'm going to start it up now and um, and do some machining on the stainless, and um, that should give you an idea of of the actual um, tool itself. Um, it's quite an elaborate. Uh, tool. Um, the design is not the the normal kind of design that you you see uh, um, uh, in the uh, magazines. Um, so I'll just give it a go now, and you can come to your own conclusions. I'm running the lathe at about six fifty. RPM 662 RPM um, and you'll see that there is a stop here this is all part of the design um, uh, because uh, when you move the block out to start the ball um, you can actually uh, you can actually um, uh, start uh, further out and that allows you to get a neck uh, in the material for for when you machine the taper on the bar itself so um, I'm going to put a cut on and you just undo that and you turn this here and just nip it up I've bought some special, a special tool bit that I'm going to uh, machine up. Uh, it's a crowbar. It's it's um, it's a combination of uh, crow, chrome, and um, cobalt. Um, so I don't know if it's going to work any better. But as you can see, this keeps the tool completely away from the chuck itself. You just put a, a little cut on and you... Now bearing in mind that this is a, a first, a first uh, time I've, I've actually machined uh, with this tool so it doesn't take too long I don't think to get down to the ball
it actually gives a quite a nice finish on the ball as well but it's really quite an ideal size for the Taig lathe of this size of lathe It'll do equally well on the shear line I'm sure I would turn the camera off but um, and then switch it back on later on but I'm not exactly sure how to pause the machine the, uh, the camera so I'll just keep it going So it cuts very well. Keep the cuttings away from the from the cross slide. It's we're almost there. It won't be long. tool bit that I have in there at the moment is an old broken uh, center drill um, just a HSS I'm hoping that the um, that the new tool bit it's a, th it's a three, 316 diameter tool bit by the way um, I'm hoping that the new tool bit will um, will last longer before before sharpening uh, I'm gonna, gonna put a some marker on here so that I can see when I'm getting down to the diameter This is stainless steel. We're almost there. Hmm. A bit of a tight spot there. I think it may be a bit of swarf is getting underneath. So I'm just going to put a another cut on. Just a minute cut. There you go. 
go. So there's the ball and pretty nice pretty nice we'll make a nice little handle probably for the tailstock or I don't know something else maybe here for the new tailstock so that's uh, that's how it goes thank you